हेलो गाइस कैन यू गेस वेर आई एम नो डोंट थिंक दैट आई एम इन डिपार्टमेंटल स्टोर आई एम एक्चुअली इन साइड दिस रेफ्रिजरेशन चैम्बर Hello guys, welcome back to this new video. My name is Vivek Mishra. Currently, we are sailing across uh, Europe, and uh, we are approaching to Gothenburg, that is in Sweden. And uh, it's really cold over here. I can show you some glints of it. So, guys, it's really cold over here, and the temperature is uh, plus one. As you can see that. area is almost covered in snow hello guys uh, this is a requested video our viewer has requested me to make a small video on a refrigeration system that is available on board so today i'm going to talk about the refrigeration system that we have on board let's go to the refrigeration plant so guys uh, right now i'm in uh, upper deck as you can see behind this is upper deck of our ship in the accommodation area So guys, here we are. This is provision refrigeration plant room. So here I am going to show you what are the systems we have. Never forget to secure these the watertight door, guys. So guys, what is the actual meaning of refrigeration? Refrigeration means cooling of a space, substance, or a system to the lower temperature or maintain its temperature below ambient temperature. And guys, refrigeration considered as a artificial. human made cooling method so let me show you how this uh, refrigeration plant look like so let's go so guys this is a provision refrigeration plant room and now you are looking at provision refrigeration plant compressor starter panel so this is number 1 compressor starter panel and number 2 and uh, now i'm going to explain you that what are the components we have in this uh, refrigeration plant so first of all so guys this is compressor which act as a circulating pump which compresses low pressure low temperature vapor gas or freon into high pressure high temperature vapor freon and this is condenser so this high pressure and high temperature vapor circulate inside uh, this condenser for cooling and for condensation process then we have this, uh, this filter dryer which is used to observe moisture from the freon gas and we have some uh, safety systems also here oil pressure switch and this is a high pressure and low pressure switch here we have a pressure gauges this is for low pressure and this is for high pressure and guys this is a freon leakage detector if there is any freon leakage detector then we have a sensor over over here so it detects freon leakage here and uh, intimate us with an alarm so guys here we have a dual refrigeration system So at a time we used only one system and uh, we keep another one as a standby so in case of any trouble or any problem on number 1 so we can start and change over to number 2 in order to keep our food and other items in good temperature. So guys this is a compressor and this is a section side of the compressor and this one is discharge side of the compressor and uh, this is a side glass for the freon level from here you can easily see the level of freon inside the system. So guys uh, this is fresh water cooling pipes for the condenser. So this is fresh water inlet inside the condenser and this is fresh water outlet. This is a thermometer. And guys uh, here we have a cooling water pressure gauge and this one is a cooling water pressure switch. And if you can see these two pipes, these two pipes are going inside the refrigeration chamber that I will show you later. So guys uh, now I will show you the second part of this uh, refrigeration plant that is on another deck that I I have already shown you that pipe is going to refrigeration chamber. So let's go there to see more clarity. So guys uh, now I'm inside the galley and uh, going to the dry provision area. So there I can show you the control panel of the refrigeration plant which controls the room temperature inside the 
refrigeration chamber. Here you can see this is the control panel for provision refrigeration plant. And here we have a expansion valves. And here we have a solenoid valve for different different three rooms. This is solenoid valve for the fish room. And this one is for the vegetable room. And this one is for the meat room. And here we have a expansion valves. And here we have a expansion valve which regulate the temperature inside the refrigeration chambers. And these three pipes are going inside the refrigeration chamber. And this one is return pipe from there. And guys, this is dry provision area of our ship where we keep and store our dry provision. Okay, now let's go inside this refrigeration chambers. And there I will show you the evaporator. Let's go inside this uh, refrigeration room. So this is a vegetable room. The set point of this room is plus 4 degrees Celsius. So as you can see here, we have our provisions stored at 4 degrees Celsius. And for this room, we have a separate evaporator system. Here we have evaporator coils. And this one is evaporator fan. And this is a tray. So guys, we have three refrigeration rooms here. One is vegetable rooms. And another one is this meat room. And the third one is behind me, that is fish room. So I'm going to show you all of them one by one. Let's go. So guys, uh, this is meat room. The set point of this room is minus 20 degrees Celsius. So right now it is defrosting. And uh, this is the evaporator coil for the meat room. And this is the evaporator fan. And this is the heater coils for melting the ice. And guys, uh, this is fish room. Can you see how big is this? So this is a separate evaporator coils for this room and uh, evaporator fan and this is the tray. So guys, have you seen how big is this refrigeration chamber? So we keep our food and uh, other items inside this refrigeration chamber to keep in good condition. So guys, before going on long voyage, we fill up this refrigeration chambers with food so that we can survive for the next 20 or 25 days. So guys, this looks uh, very interesting. This is a push button for refrigeration chamber alarm. For example, if somebody came inside to take some food item and uh, he got stuck inside and he couldn't open this uh, door, then he can lift this lever up. It will immediately give an alarm and then that person can be saved. So guys, I hope you would have liked this video so far. So click the like button. So guys, let's go now, I will explain you the working operation of this refrigeration plant. Okay guys, let's discuss the working operation of this refrigeration system. So the refrigeration plant is automatic in operation and consists of two semi-hermetic uh, semi reciprocating piston type compressors, two condensers and two evaporator coils in the freezing room and one in the cooling room. So guys, under normal condition, one compressor and one condenser unit is in operation with other ready with other ready for manual startup and having all the valves shut. So guys, what happens here? This compressor draws R134 vapors at low temperature, low pressure from refrigerated cooling coils and pump it under pressure to the condenser coil at high pressure, high temperature. Then this high temperature, high pressure freon enters in the condenser for condensation process which is cooled by water circulating from the central cooling fresh water system. As you can see this, this is a water cooling system. This is inlet and this is the outlet for cooling freon inside this condenser. And after this process, the gas is condensed into the condenser to become a liquid. And after this pressurized liquid refrigerant pass through this line and pass through the filter dryer which observe moisture present in the freon present in the liquid freon then it goes through this line all the way up to the refrigerated chambers so guys from here the r134a gas is passed to the evaporator coils Ever evaporator coils in the room with the expansion valve regulating amount of gas flowing to the evaporator in accordance with the current room temperature the gas expands through the expansion valve and extracts heat from the evaporator over which air from the room is passed and after that again this vapor return back to the compressor that's how 
that's how this refrigeration cycle works and guys these compressors are protected by few trips and alarms first one is thermal overload discharge pressure high and motor overload cooling water low pressure and moisture content high that's all guys i will wrap up this video i hope you have learned something from this video and if yes and found it informative and valuable please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon and pretty sure that you will like and subscribe my channel to boost up my motivation for more knowledgeable and uh, informative videos in the future thank you so much for that till then see you take care goodbye